New details in the animal cruelty case we told you about last night. Six dead cows and countless others malnourished when they were discovered on 200 acres of land off Alico Road. Brian Freeman is charged with animal cruelty and confinement of animals without sufficient food. Some of the cows will be recovering with the help of an Alva vet. And we're learning tonight that Lee County property appraisers visited the land just a few months ago and say they didn't find any red flags. Tonight, former corner Sarah Belsell is digging for more details on Freeman and the property owner. When Lee County deputies stepped onto this property off a legal road Thursday, they say they found suffering cows, very little food or water, and cattle bones scattered around the land. Some cows were in such bad shape they had to be euthanized on the property. Dozens more confiscated by the sheriff's office. Brian Freeman, a local attorney, owns the cows, not the property, and was arrested for animal cruelty. The Lee County Property Appraiser's Office says this looks like a typical case of landowners renting cows for a tax break. Legitimate cattlemen who will rent their cows to these property owners so they can get the exemption. There are about 3,400 properties in Lee County that currently qualify for an agricultural tax break. It's not fraud because it's, it's legal. But as we know with IRS and everything else, there are loopholes and, and the smart people f figure it out. The county makes it tough for anyone to qualify. They have to meet dozens of requirements. And we'll get over 400 applications a year and we'll deny over half of that. But if they do qualify, renting cows is legal and property owners can save big bucks on their taxes. The county checks on the properties every three years. These photos show what appraisers saw when they visited the land off a legal road in February. The cows were in good condition. There was pasture there. Um, water was there. What happened between February and now, we don't know. The sheriff's office is still trying to figure out what happened. The county property appraiser says one theory is that it was a new set of cows and that the ones on the land in February, then the ones on February, and that it's common to buy skinnier cows to fatten up and then sell for more money.